We will now go through the final example in this chapter. So we consider um, y double dash minus y dash minus 2y equal to 0 with two initial conditions. Um, y0 is 0 and uh, y1 is 1. All right. So uh, from, from this differential equation, the first thing we have to do is we need to um, convert it to the characteristic polynomial equation, meaning that you got lambda squared minus lambda minus 2, which is 0. And then in step 2, it is required you to do your factorizations. So we got uh, lambda minus 2 and lambda plus 1 equal to 0. Then you will have two roots, meaning you got lambda equal to 2 or lambda equal to negative 1. So both of them are simple roots. So you will have um, Corresponding to this term, you will have e to the power of 2x. And then corresponding to this term, you will have e to the power of negative x. All right. And then maybe I uh, multiply them by a constant term. Maybe that is your a and that is your b. And then I add them up together. And then I put a y here. Then this would be the general solutions to this differential equation. Meaning that this, when you substitute it to the both sides of the equation, they would be the same. All right. Right now, what we have to do is we need uh, to substitute the initial condition into this y so as to find your a and your b. So we may start with the zero. All right. So when we substitute x to be zero, y would also be zero. So zero would be b e to the power of zero plus a e to the power of zero. All right. So that means a plus b is zero. All right. And then when we substitute x to be 1, then your y would also be 1. So y is 1 equal to b e to the power of 2 plus a e to the power of negative 1. All right. So right now you got two um, equations and then you need to solve for your a and your b. So I believe you have learned how to solve simultaneous linear equations in your junior secondary schools. Then after solving this, we find that a is negative e divided by e cubed minus 1 and your b is e divided by e cubed minus 1. Therefore, we can substitute these two numbers back to the general solution here. So then you will get the particular solutions to be the, uh, the expressions here. So that would be the end of this chapter. Thank you.